be demonstrating how to create a note paper effect using Photoshop. First off, we'll go to File, click File, click New. Width 500, height 500. Background contents white, click OK. We'll be needing the rectangle tool for this, so we'll go down, right click, click Rectangle Tool, and on the page here we'll draw up a rectangle representing a sheet of paper like so don't stress if your rectangle didn't come up like that with the color we'll be changing this soon, I'll show you how next step we'll click on the layer thumbnail right click go to blending options select pattern overlay which is already clicked here on mine Blend mode, normal, opacity 100%. We'll click on this down arrow here. Comes up with all a bunch of options. Click on this arrow pointing to the right here. And we'll go down to color paper. Click that. Replace current patterns with the patterns for color paper. Dot pat. OK. Then we'll be selecting this one here. Alright, press OK. Now you see you've got a white sheet of paper, but that's not it. Got a couple more steps to go. Go back down to the layer thumbnail, right click, blending options. We go to drop shadow settings here, click, blend mode, multiply, yep. Opacity at 29%, we'll change that. Angle, 120, keep that the same. Distance at 5, keep that. Spare spread, 7, change that. And the size, we'll put that up to 8. The less stays the same. Next, we go to Color Overlay. Click. Blend Mode. We'll change that to multiply. The color here, just left click, change the color to a yellowy color. OK. Opacity at 30%. We'll change that. And you can just see it coming up on your preview there, right here. Or here, if it's like that, you can see it. Go to the stroke settings, click, size, we'll put that to 1, position inside, blend mode, hard light, opacity 45%, fill color type, fill type, just leave that at color, color, we'll change that to black. Okay, and there you have it, note paper effect using Photoshop.